Yo guys, welcome to episode 4 of my Road to 120 Slayer. In this episode, I've upped the amount of tasks that I'm going to show you up to 17. In episode 1 and 2, I think it was 13, and then in the last one it was 15. So I'll just keep adding more and more to these episodes, and I think I'm just going to keep the next episode and the episodes after that at like 20. And just having it at 20 will almost guarantee that we get at least 1 mil XP per episode. However, before I get into this video, if you haven't seen my latest video, which I uploaded yesterday, I've opened up a brand new Snapchat, and it's a public Snapchat for you guys to send snaps to me and like look at my story and stuff. And basically with this, you can just see like what I'm getting up to in real life and behind the scenes stuff. So if you want to add me on that, my name is Moto Official on Snapchat. And if you don't know how to spell that, just take a look at the description and it's at the very bottom. But anyway, let's get into the episode. And as you can see, our very first task was Rune Dragons. And you guys know how much I love Rune Dragons. Unfortunately, in this task, we didn't get lucky. I mean, we didn't get any boot upgrade drops. However, the normal drops alone are just completely fine anyway. So let's take a look at the final price check. And we actually ended up getting over 4 mil from this. Now I don't think I've ever gotten that much from just normal drops, so that's pretty insane. I usually get around 3 mil to 3.5 mil, but I have no idea what made me go over the 4 mil mark. But anyway, I'm not going to complain about that. And we also got 129,000 Slayer XP from this. Next up, we got Shadow Creatures, and I quite like this task just because it's quite easy and pretty much AFK. The drops that you get from this aren't really that good, but I mean, you do get some Divination XP along with Slayer. And as for the Slayer XP, I mean it's pretty average and the time that it takes to actually do this task is pretty quick as well. Now when doing these, I was just letting them come at me when I was using an aggression potion and then after they came at me, I could just AoE them all down so I guess that's why it's quick. But anyway, let's take a look at the price check and XP. We got around 300k GP from this and around 76,000 Slayer XP. After this task, we got Rune Dragons again, and I was really happy when I got this because I thought I was only going to get like one in this whole episode. Every episode, I kind of hope for a repetition of what happened in episode two where I got like three Rune Dragon tasks. But anyway, two is still good enough for me, and spoilers, we don't get any more Rune Dragon tasks in this episode. And also during this task, we didn't get lucky again, so it's just going to be the normal drops. Let's take a look at the price check, and we got around three mil from this task. Just bear in mind that we got assigned 13 Rune Dragons less than the last one. And also from this, we got around 102,000 XP. Next up we got Shadow Creatures again, so we just went from Rune Dragons to Shadow Creatures to Rune Dragons again and then Shadow Creatures once again. Now everything in this task was exactly the same as the last one except until I got this. Now I had no idea what the hell this was when I got it and the loot beam actually shined on it. So I looked it up and apparently you can combine this with two other pieces to create a Shadow Creatures pet. And this is the piece that you get from the Blissful Shadows and then if you want the other pieces you have to kill the Truthful Shadows and the Manifest Shadows. The piece that I got was 1 in 2000 and then the other ones are 1 in 1000 and 1 in 3000. So I just pretty much just got the one in the middle. I guess I'm going to have to start killing the other shadows now that I know this because I actually want the pet now. Just having this pet piece just makes me want to complete it. So whenever I get shadow creatures as a task again, I'm probably just going to fight those other two. But anyway, let's take a look at the price check again. We got around 300k GP and around 57,000 Slayer XP. Next up we got Steel Dragons, now this is a task that you just do solely for the Slayer points and usually I'd just pick up the bones and stuff but this time I didn't actually pick up anything. That's mainly because the Magic Note Paper is more or less the same price as Dragon Bones so picking them up will only give me like a 50 GP to 100 GP profit per one and that's just really not worth it, I mean I'd rather pay just to not pick them up. So yeah, didn't end up picking up anything. So let's just take a look at how much XP we got, we got around 41,000 XP from this. Next up once again just another task that is just solely for the Slayer points and that is Dagonoth. So for this one I just ended up taking a cannon to the lighthouse, you know the pretty standard thing and then just kind of semi AFK'd until the task was done. So let's take a look at how much XP we got. From this we only got around 12,000 XP. Next up we got a task that I'm actually really starting to like and that's Necrails. Now the reason that I'm starting to like this task is because one, I don't have to move. Number two, look at the XP on the right, I mean the attack XP, it's just over 450k XP an hour. Now I know these tasks aren't going to take an hour but I mean it's still pretty damn good XP. And on top of that the Slayer XP isn't too shabby as well. Only bad thing about this task is I don't end up picking up anything because I just want to stand there and AOE them all down and not worry about anything else. So yeah, once again, low loot but however we did actually end up getting around 58,000 Slayer XP. Coming in at task number 8, we got Dagonoths once again, so we did the same as the last time, just got our cannon and headed on down to the lighthouse. Not much happened really, I mean it's a Dagonoth task, so let's just get into the XP. We got around 13k XP. For task number 9, we got something quite boring once again, and that is Mithril Dragons. Once again, this is just another assignment that I do solely for the Slayer points. I just really need the Slayer points so bad, I mean I'm always hovering around 100 because I always cancel like the Arcarian Mammoth tasks. And for some reason, Mothran really likes giving me those tasks, especially the Mammoths. So every time I just cancel them because it's really not worth the effort. But anyway, yeah, unfortunately we were stuck with this and we didn't get any Dragonfall Helm drops, what a shocker. So let's just take a look at the price check. We got around 100k GP and around 18,000 XP. 
Next up we got Necreos once again and just like the last time it was a pretty straightforward task and I mean once again just look at the XP on the right from the rune tracker it's around 500,000 XP an hour just for attack so if you're looking for a pretty cheap way to get like 120 attack strength or defense or maybe even like 200 mil XP in those then you may opt to just like get yourself some aggression potions and come down here and just AOE them all down. But anyway let's take a look at the price check once again we didn't pick anything up and we got around 53,000 XP. Coming in at task number 11, we got Eretz. Now finally, we got an Eretz task. For this task, I just headed on down to Mazcab and took my cannon there with me as well. Now if you look at my older Slayer videos, you'll just see in the past that I used to go to that, that hunter area where the Eretz were and then just kill them all individually. But ever since I found this method, it's just so much quicker. You can just AOE them all down. However, sometimes you do get a little roughed up and you can die here. I personally myself had died here a few times just trying to get this cannon set up. It's quite insane because if you try and set up your cannon just one square out of the correct place, you'll just get swarmed and pretty much just get beaten the shit out of. And I'm pretty sure that's why I died a few times like trying to get this set up, but by the end of it I found out the correct place to put it in and it was pretty much just smooth sailing from there. So let's take a look at the price check and from this we almost got around 3 mil GP and around 130k Slayer XP. As you can see from the price check we got a Serenic scale in there, it's been a while since I've gotten a Serenic scale from Eretz, so that's a really nice drop to get especially since I haven't had one in a while. All we need in our next Eretz task is the Razorback Gauntlets and then I'll be really happy. But anyway back to the shit tasks, once again we got Mithril Dragons at task number 12. Once again nothing really happened, I mean we didn't get a Dragon Full Helm sadly, shocker. So let's just go straight into the price check and XP, we got around 250k GP and around 25,000 Slayer XP. Another shit task coming your way and that is Steel Dragons at task number 13. Once again didn't end up picking up anything from this task just because it's really not worth it. So let's just check up on how much XP that we got and we got around 28,000 XP. Now we got a task that we haven't actually done in a while, or at least it feels like we haven't done it in a while, and that is Ganodermic Creatures. So for this I just headed on down to the Polypore Dungeon and started killing the Ganodermic Beasts. Now I quite like this task as well, because not only is it good Slayer XP, but it's also like over 400k Magic XP an hour. And on top of that you have the potential to get some good drops as well, I mean they drop a lot of seeds, and if only herb seeds were worth like what they were used to like 3 years ago, so like a Torstall seed would be like 100k, if that would have happened then Ganodermic Beast would be a pretty damn good money making method. But unfortunately I don't see that coming up anytime soon, I mean I don't think farming's gonna get a rework, cause I mean it's pretty in a good place right now, but I mean you never know, maybe in the next year or so Jagex release an update that makes seed prices rise, one can only hope but I mean I don't see it coming anytime soon. But anyway, as for the Ganodermic Beast, let's take a look at the price check. From this we got around 1.2 mil and we also got around 61k Slayer XP. Now I'm actually quite disappointed with the loot because usually I get a couple of palm tree seeds or at least one, but in this instance we didn't really get that many seed drops. At least from what I recall I remember getting more than this but I'm really not sure. I guess maybe we just got really unlucky or we weren't assigned like a lot of Ganodermic creatures. Coming in at task number 15 is something else that I haven't killed for a while and that is Nihils. Now the last time I remember killing Nihils is when I made my loot from 2000 Nihils video and that one came out a while ago and it's still good to see that these are pretty damn good money. So for this task we were just killing the smoke Nihils because in my opinion they're just the easiest ones to kill. They are kind of annoying because they do run all around the arena so sometimes when you click on them your guy just goes running and chasing them for ages even though they don't stop running so your guy just never gets to attack. So yeah that can get quite annoying sometimes but I mean for the most part I usually tag them as soon as they spawn and doing that just makes it so much easier but anyway let's take a look at the price check and XP from this we got around 3.1 mil GP and around 56,000 Slayer XP I'm just going to explain something for those of you that don't know these Nihils drop something called Avianti Talons at least the smoke Nihils do the other Nihils have a unique drop each and with these Avianti Talons for example you can use this along with an Elder Charm to make a pouch and what are these pouches? well they're the Nihil pouches so I just ended up converting my Avianti Talons to the Vampire Fangs and that makes the Blood Nihil pouches and the reason I converted them is because the Blood Nihil pouches are the most expensive so obviously I want to get the most money out of this as possible so yeah that's pretty much why the pouches are there just for those of you that are wondering the 1.7 mil is is just pretty much half of what the price check is so as you can clearly tell from this this is what makes you the majority of the money at number 16 we have Aviancis and for this one we actually did end up going to Kriara and the reason I say that is because in the last episode we got Aviancis and we just didn't go to Kriara because I really could not be bothered to boss however for this episode I did make up the effort to go there and it was pretty damn easy I mean Kriara isn't really that hard anyway all you have to do is put up your ultimate ability before each kill and then you can just afk pretty much and she's the boss that I've actually killed the most in the game so I do have a lot of experience but anyway not much to say about this task to be honest I did end up getting the god shard shard 3 from one of her minions but I mean that's pretty much it I mean unfortunately we didn't get any of the armadillo drops so let's just take a look at the price check we got around 730k and we also got around 128,000 xp and finally the task to finish off the episode, we got Shadow Creatures once again. Now before I did say that I was going to try and focus on killing the big ones and the small ones, however for this task I just completely forgot about it and just carried on killing the middle ones. 
I'll just make sure to do that next episode and nothing really happened during this task anyway. So let's just go into the final price check. We got around 360k GP and around 60,000 Slayer XP. So now that I'm done showing you all the tasks, let's take a look at the total XP and GP that we earned during this episode. In this episode we got a little over 1 mil Slayer XP and we also got 16.3 mil GP. And if we add that onto the total and take a look at the total amount of XP and GP that we've earned throughout the whole series, that brings us up to 4.2 mil Slayer XP and around 149.8 mil GP. Almost at that 150 mil mark in terms of GP. Obviously we're going to crush that next episode and you never know, maybe we get even lucky enough to smash that 200 mil. But anyway guys, that is the end of this episode. I shall see you next time. And as always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new and peace.